loved. It's something that everyone could admire and like. So anyway, <laughs> I've been loved, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Teacher Sipes channel, the channel that brings joy. Let me take this moment to answer some questions. If you are new on my channel, you can go and watch how did we meet <laughs> me and my husband. Some of the questions, how comes teacher you end up in Zimbabwe, now you are in Botswana? I am going to answer, it's a long exciting story. How I get married to a Zimbabwean, <laughs> it's funny. Yes, all those who are new, I'm from Malawi. It's not that there were no boys in Malawi. <laughs> Lovely, handsome. But to me, it was different. There are some points that I consider to my husband. Now I can't say my boyfriend because he's a father of two girls. Okay. Firstly, what I consider, I consider his patient. <laughs> this husband of mine, he has patience. He wasn't open, but he just has come and say, you want to be friendly with me? Then I said, oh, yes, I'm your friend. I accept it like that. Playing, not knowing that what I'm saying is going to pass. Because from that time, I realized that uh, the power of the tongue, it's real. Because me, I was thinking I'm joking. But look, right now, I'm sitting in a house. So patient was the first thing. Okay. <laughs> this Zimbabwean is so caring. If you are new on my channel, go and check whereby I was sick. You know what? You used to cook, cook clean, even helping me to bath. And most of the work, the housework we do together, which is more care. And other people, they were even asking, um, teacher, it's not a Zimbabwean. Maybe there's something different with him, consider with others. But to me, that's what I realize. Again, the third one, love. <laughs> I really like to be loved, guys. I don't know. You girls, you women over there, tell me how do you feel about being loved? Someone to just say, I love you, you are beautiful. Uh, there's a lot about love, caring. Even if I put on something which I think it's not proper, because he loves me, you used to just say, you know what, sweetheart, you're looking beautiful. Just love, too much love. More than the love that I was getting from my parents. Of course, parents, they love their children, but the love that this man my husband showed to me it was an extra ordinary he's a christian when i was born i become a teenage i started to say when i grow up me i want to be married to someone who's a christian a christian it doesn't mean just going to church no the way he was behaving you could feel sorry for other people care for other people outside people whether you know them or not feeling love to outside and inside people his family and outside people which is very good and again he wasn't smoking that was the most thing that i didn't like why i was raised by a father who was smoke my father used to tell me that my daughter you see smoking i want to stop my father could just smoke and go then whether it's there for two days or three days or a week still i could smell the smoke in the father's bedroom then my father also he ended up telling me that you know what sipe i hate smoking once you have a daughter or a son please don't allow them to smoke my father used to tell me not to smoke but i didn't listen it's hard right now i want to stop but i can't stop he was drinking but not that necessary mean after drinking you could fight with anybody no he wasn't fighting with anybody he was drinking beer after he drinks he 
could cry. You see? Not being beaten by anybody. He would think of something past, something that upsets him. Then for me, I started to hate drinking. I said, ah, but is this how other people do? So me, when I grow up, I don't want my husband to drink. There are so many people, when they drink, they show love, more extra love and care. If they used to be stingy, that day you know that, ah, this one is drunk, I'm getting everything that I want. They are so friendly after getting drunk. But to my father, it was different. He could cry, he could hit the wall. He wasn't beating my mother, even us. We grow up knowing that ah, my father, my dad is very lovely and he has never beaten me up to this age, although it's late. Then I started saying no. So when I found my Zimbabwean husband not drinking, hey, that time he was my boyfriend, I said, God, I think this is a dream comes true. I try by all means to trace, to find out. But guess what? Most of his friends were those people who drink. But he could sit with them, socialize with them. Himself will be drinking just a, a drink. Let me tell you why I married a Zimbabwean. Because I couldn't know much about Zimbabwean boys. So by seeing this one, I was ticking. And another thing, hard working. He's a hard worker. Most of the time I met him, hey, things were, were tough. Consider from where I come from. I realized that, hey, are you telling me that the men, the boys who can work as hard as this, he was working very hard and getting very little. But guess what? He didn't give up. Then I realized that this hard working in future is going to, to build ourselves. It's going to make my life grow. Because life is not the same always. It can change. Hey, by saying that, it's real. And it comes to pass. When I get married to him, things goes another way. It changes. We have to work very very hard daily but he didn't give up he he is a person who never complain even if i say hey but this is too much you say what do you say too much there's nothing that is too much working very hard is very good it makes us get strong again and learn things different another thing that i admire him most friendly Again, I'll allow you guys to go and check most of my videos whereby we were playing games. Ah, uh, he's a friendly father. He likes to play games. Some, some of the things will say, ah, ah. <laughs> are you sure that my husband can play this with us, with the children? My children, they prefer to play with the dead most than to me. Because me, when I was growing up, I preferred to be very close to mommy. But my children, they prefer to play with the daddy most. Even to tell daddy most of their secrets. Hey, they are young, yes. But there's something that they can mess up even at school with their friends. Instead of telling mommy they prefer daddy because daddy is so friendly. And I love that. And he's someone who encourage me in everything that I do. I didn't know much about different boys, but I was considered my father because he's the only man whom I was born seeing, observing, raised. He was a good father. And I was even saying, why my father always drink? When he drinks, he, he hit the wall, he hit himself. He never hit my mother. But why is it like that? So. I realized that no, something that he took is the one that was causing trouble, although he was a caring father. Then I said, I don't want it to happen to me. The family, oh my God, to be honest, up to now, if I am with my auntie, his sister, 
you might not know that it's my auntie. Other people they fight day and night. Aunties they don't want the sister daughter in laws, sister in laws. There are different things happening in different families. But to his family, the first time I visited there, I was welcomed. And you know what I get? I get a bucket of peanuts. <laughs> From young, I used to love food. Up to now, I'm someone who likes food a lot. So I realized that, ah, this family, it's a very nice family. It's like, it's suiting with where I am coming from. And I say, ah, 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 I have a match. So, what am I waiting for? Let me grab this guy. <laughs> then, guys, I am a daughter-in-law for Zimbabwe. And I love the culture. At first, it was difficult. But what I like with my husband, he used to teach me slowly, slowly, slowly. Right now, if you see me, if there's anything for culture that is being done at the family, you would think and I was raised there with this culture because now I know everything and my husband feel happy and is proud of me because there's nothing that I can say I don't know. <laughs> because most of the culture for Zimbabwe it's very different with the culture for where I come from. I am now as fully Zimbabwean lovely. You are free to tell me or to continue asking some of the things that I think I didn't cover. Guys, this is what I make for my family today. Nashe is right and here with me. <laughs> or your sister. Mm. Angie is still at school. But I just say no, I can't eat without showing you. I managed to find fresh fish today. This is a brim. I roasted it. So nice. So nice. You like it? Mm -hmm. It had been a while without, in fact, I can just say a year, without eating fresh fish. Be and again, without eating fresh fish, it makes me to think home most. Those who comes from Malawi, you understand what I mean when it comes to fish. There's a lot of fish. Different types. Yummy ones. So this is what we are eating. This is papa, white papa. And I make some gravy here. 